I need something to carry my kayaks. So I decided to use my utility trailer. And I made a measurement at two feet. And six feet. And I'm going to install these braces and put those pipes across the trailer with the noodles to protect the bottom of the kayak. So I marked the holes and then I punched them. They don't have to be exactly center. And I drilled them. And then I installed those hoops on there. This is a cheap $9 Menards drill. It does the trick. I was going to bring my saws out to cut this pipe. But I bought this pipe cutter, I don't know, a couple years ago. It was uh, 50 bucks. It's a pretty good one. Things are like 75, 80 bucks an hour. So um, I'm just making pretty good work on this steel pipe. Um, and it's probably gonna make a nicer cut than the Zaza. Paisano, or Palawi. So that cut through it pretty good. And then this has a burr remover. So you just spin it around in that hole and then it remove the burr. So this is basically done. I got the eye hooks on both ends, front and back. I'm gonna drill a hole there and put a set screw in there. Keep it from slipping out. So it's like that on all sides. And I'm going to uh, squirt some Loctite on it. And then I'm going to paint it to uh, hold that uh, screw in place from coming loose. So i got a few noodles left. I may uh, put a vertical, vertical? I'm not sure. Yeah, vertical stand in the middle. I just have to remember. I think my kayaks are 35 inches across, so if they don't lay f right next to each other, I'm going to have to put them on an angle. So I'll figure that out later on. But for now, it's going to work. There's the set screw. I don't know if I can see inside there. There it goes around. I couldn't get the lock washer and done on that side. I'd like to it, but I didn't. But I did put uh, Loctite on that. So I doubt if it's coming loose. So there it is, all hooked up. My uh, utility kayak trailer. I think I'm going to put another noodle underneath here. Supports it real good. I may adjust the straps a little bit. And I just got bungees on, on the back. And uh, front, middle, and them straps. And uh, I don't like using bungees because they break at any moment. So I'll probably just figure out how to just do it with the straps. Oh, and then what I did is because these aren't ratchet straps, these are just those pinchy straps where I uh, tied it in a knot. 
knot there. And then uh, put a bungee around once it goes through there so it wouldn't slip out. So I'll probably just use, uh, you know, two of these straps, one in the front, one in the back, and then uh, some bungees in the middle. But there it is. Plenty of room to turn. I could put them back a little bit further if I want to. And just for d put them on there quick, I just did it this way. Normally I carry them upside down so they don't fill up with rain. And it is starting to rain. So I hope you enjoyed my utility trailer build. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like your kayak tub. <laughs> Make sure the cable goes through the frame of the trailer. So I got the front and back locked. That needs to go through the frame of the trailer. Otherwise people just pop your bungee cords and carry both kayaks away and cut the cable later on. Two trailers locked up too so they can't take the whole trailer. <laughs>